In this video, we're going to look at how we can calculate percentage increases and decreases, like how to increase 120 by 30%, or how to decrease 80 pounds by 25%. There's a couple of different ways that we can do these types of questions. So in this video, I'm going to show you the more simple and intuitive technique first, and then we'll have a look at a quicker but slightly more difficult method. So if you start with this question on the left, we're trying to increase 120 by 30%. To do this, we can think of it in two steps. First, we're going to have to find out what 30% of 120 is. And then we can add that value to the 120. We've already covered how to find the percentage of a number in our last video. So if you're not sure how to do it, then check that video out first. In this video though, I'm going to use the decimal technique. So I'd convert 30% to 0 0.3 by dividing it by 100, and then multiply that by 120 to find that 30% of 120 is 36. Then for step 2, we just add this 36 to the original of 120 to get a total of 156, which would be our final answer. For this next one, we need to decrease 80 pounds by 25%. So similar to before, we first need to find out what 25% of 80 pounds is. And then because it's a decrease this time, we have to take that value away from the 80 pounds. So to get 25% of 80 pounds, we just convert 25% to 0 0.25 and multiply it by 80 to find that it's 20 pounds. Then we just take that 20 pounds away from the original 80 pounds to get a new price of 60 pounds. Let's have a go at another one with some context this time. Charlie wants to buy some new headphones, which normally cost 142 pounds. If he uses his student discount card, he gets 12% off everything. How much would he have to pay for the headphones if he used his student discount card? So in this question, there are really just three important bits that we need to notice. The fact that the normal cost is £142. The fact that it's a discount, so we're reducing the price. And that the size of the discount is 12%. So if we take these three points together, we're really being asked to decrease £142 by 12%. And this means that the first thing we need to do is convert 12% to 0 0.12 and multiply it by 142 pounds to find that the 12% is worth 17 pounds and 4 pence. Then we can subtract that discount from the original price of 142 to get the discounted price of 124 pounds 96. Next up, we need to look at the other technique that we can use, which is called the multiplier method. The trick with this method is to think of the original number and the percentage change both as decimals. So in this question, 210 is the original number, which we can think of as worth 100%, or 1, because it's the entire original number. Whereas the 40% is the percentage change and is equivalent to 0 0.4, because to get percentages to decimals, we just divide them by 100. So for a percentage increase question, where we're basically trying to find 210 plus 40%, we can use these decimals instead, and think of it as trying to find 1 plus 0 0.4. So we just add them together to get 1.4, which we call our multiplier. And then we multiply that 1.4 by the original 210, to get an answer of 294. I know this method is kind of confusing at first, so let's have a go at another couple questions. In this first one, we're trying to increase 450 grams by 18%. So we think of the 450 grams as 1, because it's the original number, and then think of the 18% as 0 0.18. Then because the question says increase, we add those together, to get 1.18 and multiply the 1.18 by 450 
to get their new mass of 531 grams. For this second one, we need to reduce or decrease 320 by 30%. So this time, we still think of 320 as 1, and write the 30% as 0 0.3. But because we're reducing or decreasing this time, we're to do 1 minus 0 0.3, to get 0 0.7 as our multiplier. Then we just multiply 320 by 0 0.7 to get our new value of 224. Now, one thing to watch out for with these is when the percentage change is less than 10%, like here where we're trying to decrease 42 by 3%. 3% is equivalent to 0 0.03. So we'd have to do 1 minus 0 0.03 to give us 0 0.97 as our multiplier. A really common mistake here would be to think that 3% is 0 0.3, and do 1 minus 0 0.3 to get 0 0.7 as the multiplier instead. So just watch out that you don't make this mistake, and remember to divide your percentages by 100. So to find the actual answer here, we would just do 42 times 0 0.97 to get 40.74. Another weird one is when you increase something by more than 100%, like increasing 16 by 250%. 250% is equivalent to 2.5. So to find our multiplier, we're to do 1 plus 2.5 to get 3.5. And then we'd have to do 16 times 3.5 to give us 56 as our final answer. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So if you found it useful, then please do give us a like and subscribe. And we'll see you again soon.